history is about to be made in the science of communication among men. Technicians in Europe prepare to receive a signal from the orbiting Telstar satellite that opens this new era. This is the first formal exchange of an official transmission, a beaming of the presidential press conference to the continent where most of Europe can witness democracy at work. The president has these historic words. I understand that part of today's press conference is being relayed by the Telstar communications satellite to viewers across the Atlantic. And uh, this is another indication of the extraordinary world in which we live. The satellite is being high enough to uh, carry messages on both sides of the world. Of course, a very essential requirement for peace. And I think this understanding which will never become from the communications is bound to uh, increase uh, the well-being and the uh, security of all people here across the ocean. So we're glad to participate in this operation developed by private industry, launched by government, and admirable cooperation. This is the cliche archetype for us. The next Tetrad satellite enlarges global information exchange. Remember, the electric environment was the enhancement of uh, information as a surface, env surface environment, and the satellite enlarges the global information exchange. Obsolescence the language for images, digital over analog. So that's the, um, what many commentators call a highly visual society, even though McLuhan meant visual space for that environment oriented and, and abstract. What we call kinesthetic uh, imagery is visual for most people, right? Even though it's very strong on television and it's a computer, it uses the appropriate receptive sense as well. But anyway, that's the dumbing down of America, supposedly. Obsolescence uh, language for images, right? Yeah, that is right on. And then the satellite retreats the world view like the earlier compass. And when it, it goes to extreme, it would be the 70s and 80s, the three versions are put to the iconic fantasy. That could be any megastar, any country, the Reagan era, the neocons, the new conservatives, all living in iconic fantasy land. That's right, that's for sure. Yeah, the whole thing is tribal institutional imagery. I mean, and then the Android and Enron was an iconic fantasy. So in the final tetrad, which is called Global Media Networking, which could be the Android meme as I understand it, it says the Global Media Network enhances instantaneous diverse media transmission on a global basis. And it also enhances simultaneous planetary feed and count speed. What, what, what is counter feed? Uh, it could be uh, 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 u
That's right. That's exactly right. We're beginning to accept that we are the super civilized and primitive people. They program in the even though we move in the mystery landscape, we can't program it anymore. Yeah, Reagan and Clinton brought in the program version, but it wasn't accepted. When it collapsed, we move in the new landscape, and then the old program becomes accepted. And that's a big factor in the Obama image. They call it socialism, right? Socialism. That's right, that's right. Now, is there, a, you, you said that there's, there's a jet trap beyond this. What is that? Uh, the Tetrad, uh, where the Android means, is not talking to us, that's what I call the Red Media Networking. The Tetrad is assuming a human audience for the phenomenon of global media networking. Uh, what happens is the Android means starts talking to itself and doing Tetrad with its parts or constituents. And I call that the tin tag. That's where humans are orchestrating programming here. But the Android meme is programming itself for itself. Wow. That's, that's, that's the idea that technology is coming on. And imitating the most advanced of the mass security agency programming. The tetrad is used and was used by uh, uh, the intelligence community to end when Gorbachev uh, put up by President Bush in 1989 after the wall went down. I think it was December 89. He asked for, from Bush, that um, Gorbachev wanted to have what was called the uh, sociological algorithm. That was the best term for the tetra, because he knew that the Soviet Union was going to start breaking up, and he wanted to anticipate all the effects of that. And so he asked Bush to give them their tetratic management situation, called sociological algorithm. It was invented by a, a, an intelligence person in the 80s in Baltimore, who was not aware of the tetrad, and McClellan laid out. McClellan was not known too well in the 80s. And when the book, when uh, The Laws of Media came out a year before this book, The Global Village came out, he said, wow, that's what I did, and this guy McClellan had it before me 10 years before. So anyway, that's a side thing. Now, when you get into the uh, 90s and after 2000, uh, Y2K and all that, you have the Android being gone, and so then it becomes an obvious synthetic uh, living apparatus, and people start to accept it. What happened today is the pentatic collapse. And we're moving into what I call the pentatic ATM, the sixth level, which is cold fusion and the mystery landscape. Many thanks for the around the world.